When a narcissist targets you again after a discard, this is what you should know. We warmly welcome anyone who cares to join us. Today's video, as always, will focus on narcissists again. To everyone who has made the trip out here today, thank you. I really think you'll learn a lot from this video. You can get updates whenever a new video is uploaded if you subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's get to work. In today's video, I demonstrate how narcissists are constantly on the lookout for ways to enhance their own self-importance. You might want to give a narcissist another chance, at least occasionally. However, this behavior has no justification. A narcissist is not worthy of a second chance because of how good he is at deceiving others. A narcissist is unconcerned about the feelings and needs of those around them. When given the opportunity, narcissists will not waste it. They would be overjoyed each time you revisited them and gave them another chance. They will devour every last bit of you until there is nothing left to eat. They'll do anything to win your love back. If you're thinking about making up with someone who has hurt you in the past, you should do some serious soul searching first. Here are four scenarios where mending fences with a narcissist may be warranted. If you're attracted to or stuck with egocentric people like narcissists, you might want to do some soul searching. A genuine expression of regret is usually required before a second chance is granted. Narcissists shouldn't be allowed to vote because they rarely, if ever, show remorse. It's important to note that there are a variety of situations in which a reconciliation with a narcissist victim is possible. This occurred fairly regularly, if not frequently. We'll start with the ways in which narcissists blame themselves for their misdeeds. First and foremost, we give a narcissist another chance because we're afraid of losing something important to us if we don't. Some people fear being alone because they haven't found a life partner yet, or because they don't believe they ever will. It's possible to have both outcomes. Some people, I've heard, are reluctant to cut ties with this vile person, because they're afraid of being abandoned. The fear of being single is a major factor in people staying in toxic relationships. If this is you, perhaps you should examine your feelings of unease and determine whether or not you should be grateful for them. The closing of one door inevitably leads to the opening of another. If you hold on to someone or something that isn't contributing to your development, you may miss out on a chance to move forward. Maybe you're the one who is passing up all the fun. You've lost sight of the fact that you already have love within you and that you deserve better in your search for the one. So now you feel like a total loser because of it. Developing a sense of calm and love within oneself is the first step on the path to independence. An opportunity may arise for a narcissist if you are willing to give them one. There's a chance that someone you care about will be the one to pull the trigger. It's also possible that this is the case. You may feel constant pressure from friends and family to repair your relationship with the narcissist. Keep in mind that those urging you to forgive and forget the narcissist are not victims themselves. Never assume that other people will feel what you're going through. Many people put their own wants and needs second to those of others. They give the narcissist another chance after being persuaded to do so by a friend, family member or others. It is entirely up to you to decide whether or not to give someone a second chance. Stop second-guessing yourself and worrying about whether or not other people will get it. Follow your moral compass, even if it means going against popular opinion. Third, when sympathy for the narcissist has not yet died out. The people a narcissist has hurt or betrayed usually hold a special place in their hearts. Unfortunately, this is a typical result of unhealthy romantic relationships. This method is known as normalization. What options do you have if your feelings about the person who hurt you remain unsettled? If the answer is yes, you're forced to turn around. There are some people for whom physical proximity is impossible, and for whom love at a distance is the only way to show our devotion. Keep your distance from the person who has hurt you so much. Love itself is enough. Physical proximity is not required. It's possible that being around them and showing affection will only make their treatment of you worse. Recognize that things are out of your hands and stop trying to alter them. For some, love is the ultimate motivator. Depending on how they feel about the narcissist, some people are willing to give them another chance. That's because narcissists may keep saying over and over that they've changed for the better, 
and that things will only get better from here on out. You are more likely to think that the sudden shift has strengthened your bond with the narcissist, despite the fact that it may have only been temporary. A false sense of hope can arise if traumatic memories of abuse are denied or downplayed. During the love bombing phase, narcissists are especially likely to leave you with pleasant memories. Their warmth and genuine concern for your well-being made you feel like you'd always be welcome in their home. People may be prompted to reflect on the past again if they are focused on and have vivid flashbacks to specific events. Be wary not to give in to the trap. Narcissists are extremely skilled manipulators. If you like what you see, you might want to subscribe and follow my channel. For the four reasons I just gave you, the narcissist gets a second chance. The more chances you give a narcissist to hurt you, the more chances they'll keep getting. Everyone else will suffer if a narcissist is brought back into play, because the narcissist thinks only of themselves. Don't tell anyone about the following four things if you're having trouble. After all, the narcissist's lies may cause your loved ones to put undue stress on you. It would be great if you could tell us your thoughts. If you want to talk to me, feel free to do so. Is there anything I said today that made sense to you? Do you have something to say? Leave a comment down below. Please use the like button below to show your approval. If you're interested in discussing this topic openly, we invite you to join us. Get alerted whenever new content is added by subscribing and clicking the bell. I truly value your interest in what I have to say. Thanks.